Well, now welcome back to the third CSS tutorial of learning how to code for Pigeon English. For inside this tutorial, we go begin to design our website proper proper. I mean say, we go begin to change the font style, font width, text alignment, measurement, and in fact, plenty of other things now we go to do for inside this tutorial series. But before we go and jump right in, I would like to tell you something say, CSS is very easy and simple. But because of this simplicity and ease, it did quickly to mix things up. So to prevent you from saying, ah, which kind of wala can be this one now? I don't categorize the whole of CSS into three categories. So I mean, say, anything where you want to go, either fall in the first category, second category, or third category. So the categories now, typography and decoration, floating and positioning, box model and layout. As you know, say, for our website, we go get text, we go get pictures, we go get different things for our website. So anything at all we want to do for inside our CSS, no go go beyond these three categories where I don't categorize already. Shall you see these categories so? Now them be the pillar we make CSS stand. So make we just start with typography and decoration. As you know, typography just deal with text. So the things we go to do for here now to just de decorate all this text. I mean say, we go to change the font type, the color, the size, and things like that. So now I will just go back to our sublime text. What we could just do now be say this coding pigeon. I can't imagine say the coding pigeon size can't be this small. So I will just come inside that H1 tag now. Type font size. Come put 35 pixels. Now before we reload our website, you see this PX where they here now pixels then the column and a unit of measurement for inside CSS. Where then they use the measure number. So I will just right click and say open in browser. Now you see, say this coding pigeon don't increase. But because then at 35 px I give them, it is possible for you not to see a big difference in this coding pigeon size. So what I will just do now is I will just come back to our sublime text, change this one to 75. So I will come go back to our website. Load our website now. You see, say this code in pigeon text don't increase. So, as we don't change the font size, so the next thing we will go do now is say we go just change the font family of our code in pigeon text with the inside this h1 tag. So, if you want to change the font family of anything for inside CSS, you will just talk say font family. So as we talk say font family, we get different types of fonts when we feel used for inside CSS. But the one way I will just show as an example now, I will just talk say cursive. So if I save this file now, go back to our website, go and reload our website. You see, say now this our code in pigeon text, it don't change from the default one to this cursive font family style. We get many values for our font family for inside CSS. So if you just type it online, say CSS font family, you go see a lot of them. So now you could just change them to the one way you want. Now, another thing we are going like to show you now how to underline your text for inside CSS. So what I could just do now is say I could just go back to our sublime text. Remember, say if you want to do font for inside CSS, you could just toss a font family. If you want to do underline, you know, go just toss a font underline. Though. You go talk say text decoration. You see, say you don't carry many options for us as a day like this. I will just choose underline. So if I press Ctrl S like this, go back to our website, on reload our website. Now you see, say our code in pigeon don't they underlined? Show you see them. Okay, as I see this information like this, I feel to say okay. As I get this underline for down like this, I still won't get them for up like this. So to do that one like this, you go just talk say text decoration. I will just talk say overline. Save this information. Go back to our website. Go and reload them. Now you see, say we don't get overline here instead of underline. Show you see them. You go notice say it carry the underline with the bottom here. Come put them on top. What do they happen for here? Be say even though say we don't specify them. Say make it get underline. I make it get overline, but now only this overline now it happen for inside our website. 
What did they happen for here? Gogo be say now order of precedence. Now in the occur. What did be order of precedence? CSS they always put importance on the last information we day for inside our code. It means say as CSS they operate, we say you go start from top like this. They operate, they come. They operate, they come. They operate, they come. They operate, they come. You go see say when you can't reach this thirteen, this line thirteen, you see underline. So you go don't put underline for inside the text. But when you can't see line 14 again, the same text decoration, you can't put overline. So it means that this overline, this line 14, where you they see, so it go override this line 13. So now just the simple thing where they happen for inside, that one be that. Where we say we can't see overline instead of underline. Another value where text decoration property can't get now, line through. To explain this one, I will just switch back to our sublime text. Inside our sublime text now, I will just say, um, okay, I will just first come out this one. Come to say, line through instead of underline. As you see, I don't put line through like this. I will just save this information. Go back to our website. Come reload down. Now, sure you see the effect of this line through. So, so we are this line through come be very useful now when they, they run promo adverts for online store. So, if you want to cancel the original price of something, Come put the new price. So now the good way to use our line through be that. Another thing we are going to like talk now now how to italicize your text for inside CSS. So I will just switch back to my sublime text. This text where you they see here. So so what I will just do be say I will just come here do our selector because then in inside paragraph tag there I will just do p make it go target our paragraph tag. Open our colon and closing parentheses then type font style don't put italic inside this is i don't put italic inside our font style now i will come save this information go back to our website go and reload down if i scroll down now you go see say this information wait there here like this you don't get one pelenge pelenge style and i wait to be italic be that so if i go back to our sublime text so another thing we are going to like discuss again our font width. So what do we go do now? We say now inside this P paragraph will be our paragraph tag. Now we go continue to do our operation. So inside here now I go just talk say font width. I go just talk say bolder. Save information. Come back to our website. Come reload them. Now you go see say this information don't get a little thicker. So we're gonna get four different types of font width property. We get light, we get lighter, we get bold, and we can't get bolder. So if you just talk, say instead of this bolder, I will just talk say bold. Save this information, go back to our browser, go and reload our website. I don't know whether you notice say the thing don't change from a deep tick to a light tick. We get four different values where we feel where we feel use inside this font weight property. So we get light, we get lighter, we get bold, and we get bolder. So it depends on how thick you want your own font to be. Go determine the value where you go put here from light, lighter, bold, and bolder. So the next thing we are going like to explain now now text alignment. So what is the text alignment? The best way to explain text alignment, we say. I will just come back to our browser like this. Say, you see this our code in pigeon text where they here. You you feel like to say okay. You no want your own code in pigeon to be on the left hand side as it is like this. You want make it demi do. Another person will talk say okay. I don't want make my own code in pigeon demi do. I want make it day right. So now text alignment then they use do one. So what I will just do now is I will just come back to our sublime text. You go remember saying now inside this our H one tag. Now we are our code in pigeon text there. So I will just come back inside our H1 tag like this. Talk say text align. I will just talk say center. Don't save this file now. Go back to our browser. Go and reload our website. Now you don't say this text don't come middle like that. So if you want to change the alignment of any text for inside your website, now text align property you go use. So that one just get three different values. You get center, you get right, and you get left. 
So what I will just do now? Say I will just change them to right so that you go see say that one save the work. So I will just come here now. Instead of center like this, I will just say right. Save this information. Go back to our browser. Call reload now. You see, say you don't get out like this for here. So text alignment give us the authority to control where our text go there for inside our website. Now the next thing we are going to like to explain and line height property. So what will be line height property? So to explain line height property, what I go do be say I will just make the text where they inside this paragraph tag plenty. So I will just copy this one like this. Copy them, can't duplicate them multiple times. So that the text go plenty, so that you go feel understand what in line height property they do. So I will just save this our file, this our HTML file like this. Come go back to our browser. Come reload our browser. Now you don't see say we don't get plenty text like this for inside here. So line height property will give us the authority to add space between two lines for inside our website. So what I will do now is I will just go back to our sublime text. Come put the line height property for inside this paragraph tag. And remember, say all these text where we get so everything there inside this paragraph tag where they here. For this information not to be confusing, I go just remove all these inline tags where they here. Now you see, say, I don't remove all the tags where they inside our paragraph. So you know, say now only text now in there inside this our paragraph tag. To show you, say nothing don't break. I go just save this information like this. Go back to our website, come reload our website. Now you see, say we still get our text like this. Now, as you see this information like this, it can't be like say these lines can't be too closer to themselves. So now we are line height property come come in be that. So what I will just do is I will just go back to our sublime text like this. Can't give this line height property. Now inside this line height property, I will just give a number. I will just talk say thirty five px. Remember, say px na pixels and a unit of measurement. So I will just save this information now. Go back to our browser, call reload our website. Now you can see, say we don't get enough space between our text for inside our browser. Here you see them. If you want to make this one day very obvious, I will just go back to our sublime text, call increase this one to say 55. Save this information like this. Go back to our browser, reload our website. Here you see. You see, say you don't dig very wide like this. See the space here. You don't dig very wide. So now, what we they always use to increase readability? When we say you know, go there difficult for people to read text for inside your website. So as I see this information now, this coding pigeon where they this right hand side. So you know, too fresh. So I will just come out that property. We make a con this right hand side. So I will just go back to our sublime text. Come come out this text align property. Save them. Go back to our browser. Come reload them. Here you see, say you don't come back to your normal position. Now the next thing we are going like to talk for inside this tutorial, be say. Now it is very important to know exactly what thing you they do or what thing you want to do before you begin to type your code for inside CSS. If you don't understand exactly what thing you want, CSS will give you total problem. So now what I talk say it is very important to call your attention to this information. Say before you begin to type your code. You could not already know where each thing won't be for your website. So now that information where you don't get already. Now what you go just they design your CSS code to the represent. What I mean, we say if you look at this word document, so you know say it they empty like this. So before you begin to do your CSS, for example, if you say I want to build CV now for myself, I thought say okay, I want my name, make it day me do like this. So what I will just do is I will just type my name first for capital letter. Now, you see, I don't type my name for capital letter as it is like this. The next thing we are going to do is I will not make this information come day big. I go increase the font. You see, I don't increase the font. Okay, I want to make this information come day bold. I will come here like this. Can't give her another font. Font where they bold. I will just give her say make it bold here like this. So the next thing we are going to like do is say I want to make this information come day center. So I will put it like this. Now the next information we are going to like do is say I want to make my address follow. So I will just talk say address.
I will just say address goes here. I can't spell here now, right? Oh my god. Right. But as I receive this information like this, you know, say this address as a day like this. Huh? You don't dare too big. So I will just come here like this, change this one to like change them. And I don't want to make it day bold. I will come out the bold. The font where I give and the font say day bold. I will just come out and like this. Change you see. So this one means say if I want to represent this information for my website, I don't already know what thing I want to do like this already. So I will just come back to my sublime text. As I don't type that information, finish like this. I will just talk, say, okay, this one, say, now, be a quick do somewhere. Okay, see, I will save this information like this. Go back to our browser, reload our browser. Show you see, say, I don't get be a quick do somewhere. But I won't make this be a quick do somewhere, come day me do. What I go do? I will just come back to our sublime text. Say, I want our. Be a quick somewhere today for me do. So I will just talk, say, text align, center. Hey, Sam, I will save this information like this. Come back here into our browser. Reload them. You see, say, it don't day me do. Now, the next thing we are going to do now, go, go under this information. So the idea of waiting now, they try to explain, they say, you won't know exactly what you want to do. You don't want to do Uruuru. You don't want to do Mago Mago. You go not plan yourself before you start to type your CSS code. Otherwise, you go just de perambulate around one particular circumference. You go just de do one thing over and over and over and over again. So you always want to have your information ready. So you go just de follow up like that, like that, until you finish the representation of your information. Now, I would like to call your attention to everything where you de do again, say, you go remember, say, when we want to change the font color, we just type color, con given, blue. Now, you go see, say, when we want to change the size, we type font size. We don't just type size, we type font size, con given that. So now all these simple, simple things, now what they make CSS, con they complicated with that. So just put your mind at it. Say, if I want to change color of my text, I don't go put text color. I will just put color. If I want to change background, I will just put background color. If I want to change size, you know, say a font size you go use. If you want to change the, the font, you know, say a font family you go use. If you want to make the thing go center, instead of font align, you go to say text align. So this information as you like this, you always want to put your mind for it. So you always want to know these attributes and what did they do. So if you want to change the color now, now color. If you want to change the background color, you go just say background color. If you want to change font size, you go just say font size. So you always want to put your mind for all these attributes because then they always they very similar because of their similarity. Now why many people go tell you say CSS they very complicated because then they use one attribute take they do another thing. So as we say, we don't talk about typography and decoration for this tutorial. Now, so it will be for inside this tutorial. I will see you for the next tutorial where we will discuss about web colors.